and the best of luck. Now, we all know the great magicians of our time, Harry Houdini, David Blaine, Paul Daniels, but never did we expect to see our first guest attempt to join their company. Better known for working his magic as a musician in Spandau Ballet and as an actor in EastEnders and hit movies like The Craze, his current venture sees him in a very different kind of role, spellbinding though nonetheless. Please welcome Martin <laughs> Kemp. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? Oh, that's magic. How are you, loose women? Good. We're good. Loose. How are James you? is getting ready for you backstage as we speak. Yeah. Oh, he wait. said, "Get prepared." Oh. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen. I know you're probably signed up to the magic circle now or some such nonsense, <laughs> but how did you do that? I haven't got a clue. It just happened. But I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun. Working with Barry and Stuart was a lot of fun. I, I was, I'm a big fan of magic, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I think we all are yeah, at some yeah, point in our lives. Everybody you know? loves magic. Yeah. And I have two kids. And at one point, we, there's this fantastic little magic shop down in Charing Cross Station called Davenport's. And if you're serious about magic, you've got to go there because it's kind of like the Harry Potter of, uh, of magic shops. And it's where all the magicians go to buy their big tricks. And every now and again, I would take my two kids down there, and it would be like this Aladdin's cave, honestly. Do you have to know what to do, though? Is it, is it so can any of us just go in a magic shop and get a special prop that just does, disappears on its own? Or yeah, you because you, buy, you read the instructions that come with it, you know, and then it disappears. <laughs> We're women, we don't read instructions. No. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you, like, you know, watching that clip, seriously, did they not put that... In your mouth before. I can't give it away. Well, I? I know, but they must have done because it looked like it'd been in there a long time. I've got an email here. Hang on, I'll show you the email. It says, "Do not tell them how the trick yeah. was done." Do, <laughs> do you have to be? Do they make you a kind of um, temporary member of the magic circle? Then, or do I they am just a trust member. you? In fact, oh, I'm a you? wizard. Oh, yeah. Are you? Are you joking? Now, yeah. Can I say I did <laughs> at home? I did, wand. I did a bit of magic years ago with a magician called Wayne Dobson, and I made a candle disappear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, a special magician's prop that when you went, did you like that? It, it disappeared so quickly you couldn't see it go. It shot back into a little coil thing that sort of... It would. <laughs> <laughs> you got the right prop. You, you planted saying. the image now. It's Sorry. like it's, it's impossible to get rid of. So yeah. why do you think magic... It's been off our telly for a long time, isn't it? I mean, it's been there in sort of Derren Brown, who's, I suppose, is yeah. a magician. I think but... it's starting to... Come back gradually. I think there's the Jonathan Ross show as well that's on at the moment yeah. uh, with Penn and Teller. Yeah. And so I think uh, it's something that's been off about screens for a long time and it, it's good to see it come back. It's actually a bit annoying though. When I watch it, mm. I, I get annoyed because I think, how. I, uh, yeah, I that would frustrate yeah. you with Yeah, it, it really is. Answers. I just don't know how they do it. I'm, I, how yeah. would you have to do to become a, you know. Nothing. No, no, I, I in work it with the two guys called Barry and Stuart, yeah. two lovely guys. We, went, we had four days' rehearsal. And it's a funny thing, magic, because it's, it kind of overwhelms you. But then when you, you're shown how it's done, it all disappears really quickly because oh, it's really yeah. obvious. Uh, it, yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's really Even, well, um, as soon as someone shows you, it becomes really obvious. What about really close-up really stuff though? Because we've all seen magicians yeah. do things oh. right under our noses, and you still you think it's just sleight of hand, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's a real skill. Yeah. That, I mean, that's completely different. Uh, did you get involved in any of that? No, I never. I, I, we did a couple of big tricks and we did the street magic. But, um, and this is on, on Saturday night on BBC yeah. One, is that I right? Mean, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do. Uh, speaking of fun, I had a ball last year because I had the uh, great pleasure of hosting one of your gigs oh, uh, yeah, that's when right. you were reunited yeah. for the BBC yeah. uh, with the rest of the boys from Spandau yeah. Ballet. And, and are you back in the studio? Are you continuing to work together? Yeah, we're going to get together again. We're, I think we're, the plan is that we'll record something at the end of this year and uh, then maybe go out the the end of 2012, so uh, 2012. So, uh, we're, but you know, the nicest thing is that we're back together as friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is absolutely superb. It's amazing, actually. Because yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. you guys really fell out. Like, you were like a bunch of girls. I'm yeah. not being funny. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but you know, there, there's certain memories that we have in our lives, all four of us, that, um, five of us, that um, 
you can't share with anyone else. Yeah. So it was lovely to get back together and to talk about all those memories again. It was a really special time of my life. Nice to Did the shine wear yeah. off at all? Because, you know, obviously there's that great, that novelty value of, of getting back on the road mm. and performing those songs again. But do those old habits start to sneak back in, those old irritations? Or, or have there, you were, there were to difficult that times, but, but I would say there was, it was 95% fun. Was it better yeah. being grown up doing it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, because before, you know, when we used to go out on the road and tour, it was all about what was going to happen after the show. Yeah, it was all about the party yeah. and, the, and the lifestyle and all of what came with it. Groupies. But it, well, I won't go that far. But it, was, <laughs> it was just. It Sh was a, Shirley's back there, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she's backstage. <laughs> but it was all about the lifestyle and the idea of being a rock and roll star. You know, mm. it was a dream. Uh, and then uh, to achieve that was great fun. But this time when we went out, it was all about the music and all about the show, which yeah. was fantastic. Oh, don't say you had a cup of tea and went to bed afterwards. <laughs> we, we never, no. I'm afraid, no. <laughs> you know, I don't think we ever will, but it was, <laughs> it was lovely to do, you know. It's great to be out on the road again. So Shirley's going back out on the road as well, isn't she? she I've got a house full at the moment. I've got... Shirley's going back out on the road with Pepsi, and yeah. she's doing the Here and Now tour. Brilliant. My boy's in a band called Paradise Point, which is oh, just fantastic. taking off. And my girl's a photographer, so oh. she's up and running as well. So that's all of us at home all the time, not re not doing anything really. <laughs> 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 Spending lots of time yeah. together. I say to my boy, "Are you going to work today?" He says, "I am at work." <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a band. Yeah, he's seen me. He's watched me for too long. Yeah, I mean, both your kids are grown up now, and they are making their own strides out as, as adults. But yeah. you, you just told, heard us talking about this new baccalaureate system. Um, mm. Would you have uh, Would you have welcomed that? Did you think that they could have um, been tested more at school? Well, I was listening to your points earlier on. Uh, I, I kind of disagree with you. I, I have to say... That's all right. you know, Well, I have to say <laughs> that if, it, if I have two kids and uh, one of them is a pass and the other one is a fail, it wouldn't be go down too well. I quite like the idea of the GCSE system where everybody gets a GCSE but on a different level. And I think that can make you uh, go forward a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I think if you're a, a fa failure, classed as a failure in the system, I think it it's can stick with you yeah. for, life. for life. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. The Magicians is on BBC One on Saturday always. night. It's Martin Kemp, everyone. Thank you.